Today we are going to look at multi-syllable words. Multi-syllable words are words that have more than one syllable in them. For instance, if you were to put your hand under your chin, can everybody do that? And I said, pickle, pickle. How many times did your chin hit your hand? Pickle, pickle. Mine hit mine twice. That tells me that there are two syllables in that word, pickle. We are going to divide words today, multi-syllable words and see if those syllables are open or closed. This first word, I locate the vowel, I mark it with a V, I mark all of the other letters with a C because they are consonants. Now, I first look to see if I have two consonants side by side. Do we have two consonants side by side in this word? Yes, we do. Right here. So I'm going to draw an imaginary line down this word to see if it works to divide it there. If it does, then I'll go back and draw my permanent line. So I'm going to try to pronounce this word. I look to see what this syllable ends with. And this syllable ends with a consonant. So that tells me that this vowel says it's short sound. So I'm going to try to pronounce it. Pub. So this word is pub. Let's go to the first syllable. Let's go to the second syllable. I know it ends in a vowel, or a consonant. So this word is closed, and that tells me that the vowels says it a short sound, I, so o, i, k, lick, public, public. Have you heard that word before? I have. Let's try to do the next word. We have a vowel and another vowel. We have a consonant, and a consonant, and a consonant. Do you see two consonants beside each other? Let's divide this word, pretend, in between the two consonants. So, even though this is at the beginning of a word, I still look at the end to see if it ends in a consonant, and this does end in a consonant. So that tells me that this vowel is going to say it's short sound. At, at, at. <clears throat> Look at the next syllable. I locate the vowel and I see what it ends with. It ends with a consonant. So that tells me the vowel says it's short sound. It, ick. stored anything in an attic? I got a lot stored in my attic at home. Let's look at the next word. I want you to write that word on your paper. I would like for you to locate the vowels and mark the consonants. Or, I'm sorry, three consonants together? Let me mark mine and see what we got. Oh, we do have three consonants together. I'm going to do my pretend. Since I know I normally see C and H together a lot, and they make a sound of ch. I'm going to keep those two letters together. And I'm going to do my imaginary line here. 
So since this is here, the, the T is a consonant and the, it, this syllable ends with a consonant, uh, with a, <laughs> this syllable ends with a consonant. So that tells me that that vowel is saying it's short sound. So, <laughs> et. It ends in a consonant, so that says it's short sound. Uh, ch, uh, ch, uh, ketchup. Ketchup. Do you like ketchup? Let's look at the next word. Will you write this word on your uh, board or paper? If you need to pause the video to slow it down for you, that's perfectly fine. You go ahead and hit pause. Copy the word onto your board. Mark your vowels. Mark your consonants. Draw your pretend line. Look at your first syllable. Locate your vowel. Is there a consonant on the end of that syllable? That vowel is going to say a short sound. Let's try to pronounce it. Con. Con. Let's look at the second syllable. The vowel. There is a consonant on the end, so that tells me the vowel is short. V, X, Vex, Convex, Convex. Look at the next word. Locate your vowels. Mark your consonants. Do you see two consonants together in the middle of the word? Let's draw our line in between them. I locate the vowel in the first syllable. The ending of that first syllable is, uh, ends in a consonant, so that tells me that I is short. D, it's, dis, dis. to sound that out because I knew this ended in a consonant and that A was short. B and disband, disband. Let's look at the last word we have for today. Mark our vowels. Do you see two vowels together in the middle of the word? You're right, I see three. But what about those three words, or three letters? You usually see S and P together. So let's try to draw the line before the S. Now we end in an N. We end in an N. That's right, this says it's short sound. I, n, in, in. Look at the next one. I'm locating, I see two vowels. Did you apply a rule that you've already learned? That's right, it's one of the syllable types. Silent E. That tells me this I says it's long sound. In sp I er the E doesn't say anything. Inspire. Inspire. You inspire me to come to work every day. Now I want to inspire you to go to your Google slide and do your word study 